Making my brother an Oreo cheesecake for his birthday. Okay, you're going to scrape out the filling of the Oreos, and you're going to crush that up. That's going to be your crust. And you want it to uh, sand like consistency. I ended up using a whole stick of butter, and then you melt that down, put it in the crumbs, and you want it like that consistency so you can pat it in there. So you're going to put it in your pan, and you're going to press it down. I can't bake, so this is going to turn out terrible. So, yeah, it's just going to be a little fun video. <laughs> that was 16 ounces of cream cheese, and you're going to beat that down. It's going to be softened. Also, you want to sift um, your sugar. I was too lazy to do that. A cup of sugar, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, and then, you know, like a splash of vanilla, because I don't measure. And then three tablespoons of flour. Three eggs, one egg yolk. And you want to add your eggs one at a time. Then you're going to kind of like chop these up, like just crush them a little bit, like big hunks. So you can put them in the batter and like when you cut it, it looks pretty, you know what I mean? You're going to fold that in. I added some more and then you're going to add your batter. 350 for 10 minutes and after the 10 minutes, you're going to reduce the heat to 300 for 50 minutes. When that's ready, you're going to let it cool in the oven for another 30 minutes with the oven off. Put it in the fridge. I put it in my fridge for like five hours. Then I made some chocolate ganache. And then that white stuff is the filling of the Oreos, and I melted it down. I just added cream to it, and I melted it down. And I added it to the top. Um, Yeah, I can't bake. Like, this looks terrible. Like, I don't like it at all. But my brother liked it, so that's all that matters, I guess. It tasted good, so. Yeah.